Dr. Korniets believes these early hunters lived in teepees, but questions still exist over the function of the bone huts. Hunting smaller, less challenging animals might have been easier for early hunters than killing an irate mammoth, but the meat from a five-ton woolly could feed a village for several months. To bring down such a large animal was, by necessity, a group effort. By day, men would scout for prey, occasionally finding themselves in the path of a giant deer, an imposing animal with a 10-foot rack of antlers. The night of the hunt. To survive in such isolation and sustain their community, villagers had to be skilled hunter-gatherers. Felling a mammoth tonight would go a long way towards satisfying the tribe's need for basics, food, shelter, and fuel. No one knows for sure about the spiritual practices of these ancient people, but Dr. Kornietz believes that bone huts served a ritual purpose. Much like modern Siberian nomads, these hunters may have built huts to honor the animal that was their livelihood. Though early man crafted spears with razor-sharp tips, it would take formidable strength to pierce thick mammoth hide, even at close range. Clever hunting strategy, rather than weapons, would have been the preferred way to bring down an animal as large and powerful as a woolly mammoth. We know from North American experts that one hunting method of the time was to catch an animal off guard, corner it, and if possible, run it off the edge of an embankment. Always alert, a woolly mammoth, like a modern elephant, would likely charge rather than retreat. But sometimes bulk and intelligence were not enough to save a mammoth whose luck had run out. Even a relatively shallow drop would be enough to cripple a mammoth as its legs broke under the force of its own weight. It's likely that the bones and tusks discovered over time in Ukraine came from animals that died of natural causes. There's no definitive proof that overhunting was the reason for the woolly mammoth's demise. A more widely accepted theory is that a major change in the Earth's climate caused massive extinctions in the Northern Hemisphere. The world's last ice age began about 100,000 years ago. Near the end of the Pleistocene, glacial conditions had spread over large regions of what is now Eurasia and North America. Around 10,000 years ago, during the last days of the woolly mammoth, the global climate began to warm. The ice sheets melted and the ocean rose some 300 feet, flooding the northern part of Siberia. The southern forest expanded northward, taking over the mammoth steppe. The mammoth's habitat was shrinking dramatically. Squeezed by forests on one side and water on the other, mammoths lost grazing area and they had no place to migrate. The quality of their food changed as well. Boggy terrain replaced dry grassy steplands and mammoths had no time to adapt. Dick Moll thinks that climate change is, in large part, a realistic explanation for the loss of the Siberian mammoth. 